Hey everyone, just thought I'd share with you um, how you can make your own iPhone application or Android or even Windows phone for that matter uh, for your classes or for any of your web content um, in a matter of minutes and be able to use it and preview it on your phone. The website is theappbuilder.com and you start by giving it a name. Now for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to make an app that I already have that exists uh, for my own blog and everything. Now you could do this for your classroom uh, very easily by linking in all these components that make up your class. For the purpose of this you go ahead and you select the elements you would like in your app. Now I would like a RSS feed, uh, YouTube videos, I would like a web page in within there, a Twitter account, and I would also like a contact section. Now you can choose to add event calendars and all sorts of different features um, that may be suitable to your class. Hit next. Now here you are on the page where you actually get to um, enter in the content that you would like to appear within the app. Now I need my RSS feed, so find the RSS feed for my blog and paste it in. My YouTube channel to link to my YouTube videos. There it is. Um, I would like to link to my wiki that has my information in it surrounding um, conference material. I would like to link to my Twitter account and there I am there with um, entering my town, port, and let's go three, five, three, seven now. You don't have to obviously enter that in, but just for this purpose, hit next, and it gets to work to actually preview your app. Now, if I hit next, it will go ahead and build my application. <coughs> And then it gives you this choice to download what is called the App Builder um, program where you can customize the actual icons and things to make them a little bit more um, a little bit more yours as opposed to using the standard. But if you want to do it really quick, then go ahead and happily um, hit next. Now at this point it's going to ask you to enter in your phone number. Okay, so that you can actually have a preview of the app sent to your phone. I've already done that process, so it's just sent me a text message. Now, if I have a look at my phone here, I can see I've got a text message waiting for me. Click in. Here is the links to both the iPhone and the Android version of the app. Click the tiny URL link which takes me to um, the option to install the application. Hit install and you can see it's appearing, it's in draft mode. After that's done, I actually get to pre preview and see um, it working in action. Now there you go, click on it. <clears throat> and have a look. Here we go. This is based on the information that we we gave it within the app. Now there it is, our RSS feed that lets me have a look at the blog posts that are um, that points to. Now, as I said, you can go ahead and in change these so that they say blog instead of RSS. You can have a look at your Twitter. I mean my YouTube channel which has videos that will play directly inside of there. Now imagine if this was a class and you had all your class videos coming up within the app. If you hit web page, this is the embedded page that we spoke about um, where you can see you can zoom in like a normal iPhone app would allow you to do. If I hit Twitter, then it will bring up my Twitter feed and that's that's awesome. You get to actually um, interact with Twitter, which could be a class Twitter account or, or so on. And contact. 
there we go now if we actually put in all that information you would see see what it is now the next step now at this point you would enter in the description and any keywords related to your app you hit next and you get the choice to upload a 512 by 512 image or icon that is used to appear on your app store and then you can also if you like upload the different graphics you would like to use for your app now these are important um, because they help show your app to the public now these ones here that's the icon this is the iPhone 3 splash screen Windows phone splash screen iPhone 4 splash screen. Now splash screen is the loading screen. The first screen you see as you open it up. iPad and Android. When you've uploaded those or chosen not to, you can hit next. And it doesn't like that, but you get the, the choice in here um, in your profile to say where you belong and then the final step is submitting it to Apple now you pay $29 and they will submit it to all of these app markets for you to um, have your students access this is fantastic because this process here is actually really really complicated um, if you do it on your own and you actually have to pay a fee anyway to submit apps. So it is a really good alternative to building an app, having it posted, having it hosted, and having all the hard stuff done for you so you can just get down to actually the important stuff, which is teaching and using mobile learning. So there's one really, really quick um, dem demonstration of the app. I think you'll agree with me that um, they're extremely powerful in terms of what they actually allow you to do and hopefully you can um, find a way to do that in your class and maybe use it and make use of it. Um, I'll give you an example here of an application that I posted last year that used the same principle built with a different system, but it, I actually had to go through the process of putting and submitting it to the App Store, which I again say is really complicated, um, this app basically is the same thing pieces together RSS feeds and videos and webs and Twitter Twitter feeds um, and that's designed for my senior PE class so with that application you could certainly um, go about go about designing it for your kids